Hello all, this video is on the new advanced Blink IoT platform released recently. This Blink 2.0 has following features. Blink.app which is the new app uh, for Android and iOS to automate work of uh, connected devices. And then the Blink.360. Now you can control your uh, devices from your desktop as well as from mobile app. This is a web dashboard and uh, control uh, console. And then the Blink.cloud which is the heart of Blink platform and is the server infrastructure. This is the new cloud and then the Blink.agent which is the new embedded library used for connectivity management like Wi-Fi and Ethernet. So Wi-Fi provisioning is the new Blink way of uh, managing connectivity and then the Blink.inject so Wi-Fi credentials can be fed through Blink app itself for at the client's place and finally the Blink.r so you can update your uh, code over air itself over lan as well as from anywhere in the world now let us install the new blink go to uh, google play store and then search for blink 360 you can see two blinks there is a blink old platform and then the new blink iot install the new blink iot and then open it you have to first uh, sign up by providing your uh, email id you will get a password creation link at your uh, email id provided go to the link and uh, uh, link in the email and create new password now login using your uh, email id and the new password this is the welcome page of blink iot you can see uh, no devices yet and add new device at the top left you can see my profile my organization and other settings now let us touch on the add new device it says you have to create template first so to add the template touch on developer mode let us create a new template by name my template provide the name my template and then touch on continue now the my template uh, is created you touch on that add template and you can choose a tile design let us choose uh, button design and then we'll go to the blink.360 on our uh, laptop or pc this is the web dashboard that is a web console at the bottom you have the uh, profile and then the settings under settings you can give organization name I given as ALS Electro and you can add users also. I have only one user uh, which is admin and uh, blink.r is there uh, through which you can uh, upload code over R. and to the top you have the uh, templates and uh, through organization you can add new organization and templates also and uh, under templates you can see the my template we created from our mobile app now let us uh, delete this uh, template uh, click on edit now you can uh, see the button delete button uh, click on the delete and you have to type in delete in capitals and then you confirm for deletion now let us add a new template click on new template button to add a new template provide a name let us give a name esp32 demo and select the hardware hardware we are using is esp32 and connection type is wi-fi and you can add a description uh, if you want and then click on done this is all done on the uh, web console now the uh, template is created new template is created which is ESP32 demo and no device has been added yet that has to be done through uh, agent uh, let us see that in the course of the video in the under the info you can see template ID is created and a new firmware code is also uh, created firmware configuration which includes the template ID and the device name and there is a data stream web dashboard and then mobile dash, uh, dashboard under the info you can see the firmware configuration most important thing is the data stream in uh, 
uh, new platform the virtual pincer uh, called as data stream in the old blink iot it is called as virtual pin now click on add a new data stream and click on virtual pin provide a name as uh, switch led as we are going to control an led at d23 data deep uh, digital pin and select the virtual pin as v0 data type as integer units none and uh, minimum zero and maximum one that uh, that is we are going to toggle it on and off as a switch now click on save new data stream has been created v0 now if you want to edit it you can uh, uh, click that uh, virtual uh, uh, data and then uh, change the color and then save that so only one uh, data stream that is v0 we have created to control the led save this and uh, under web dashboard let us uh, create the web dashboard now go to web dashboard you can see only minimum number of widgets so only limited widgets are in the web dashboard in this uh, beta version later it may be added uh, drag and drop a switch and if you hover the mouse over it you can see three icons first one is the clone if you click on that that uh, switch will be cloned it is copied and if you uh, click the third icon delete and that uh, switch will be deleted uh, now center one is the settings go to switch settings provide a name as uh, switch led and data stream select it as v0 that is the only data stream we have created so all virtual pins uh, data stream we have to create and on value is one off value is zero and uh, click on show on off labels and you can provide a label name also as on and off and select the uh, label position whether to right or left if you want you can change the uh, color of the switch that is a virtual pin and then the next is the mobile dashboard save this web dashboard and uh, let us create the mobile dashboard from the mobile itself go to the mobile app and then touch on the wrench icon on the top right hand corner this will uh, show the uh, template we created touch on that esp32 demo which is the template we created you will get the canvas here is where you will drag and drop the widgets now touch on that canvas to uh, see all the widgets drag and drop a button widget in this new uh, blink iot platform you can see the widgets are not having any energy level in the previous old version each uh, widget had uh, energy levels which will be directed on uh, selecting the uh, widget but in the new platform the energy levels are cancelled you can use any uh, widget now we can resize the button widget on the canvas and touch on that let us provide a name to as uh, led on off and select uh, data stream which is the virtual pin v0 that is the only data stream we created select that v0 and mode as switch it will act as a switch on off switch labels off and on and you can select the font and uh, color as you wish and go to back button and touch on the canvas again now we are not going to add any more widgets let us see the arduino ide side open the arduino ide go to file preferences under this you should have uh, installed the uh, json link for the arduino core of uh, esp32 if you do not know how to do that you see our previous video now let us go to sketch include library and then manage libraries from where we are going to install the new blink library on the new window search for blink so now the blink uh, library will show up select the latest version now the latest version during this installation is beta 3 S click on that install so the blink library is same for old as well as the uh, new blink uh, platform but in the library this blink agent has been added now go to file examples and search for blink under blink agent you can see blink agent esp32 so this is the code we are going to modify and upload 
and this blink uh, agent esp32 code at the top you can see the uh, firmware configuration now go to our uh, template which we created under info you can see the firmware uh, code firmware configuration which includes the template id and the device copy that and paste it on the uh, top of the code which contains the uh, that id and uh, esp uh, template id and uh, device name this esp agent code has got many header files uh, six to seven header files are there and we are going to modify only the uh, base code that is the agent esp32 code in this code you can under setup you can see the blink agent dot begin code and above that you have to add the pin mode code where we are adding led so at, uh, we are adding led at uh, d23 pin so make that uh, pin as output using pin mode function of arduino ide this is done in the setup and under void loop blink agent dot run is there so no other code should be there within in this loop and above void setup we have to uh, use the blink underscore write function this function is uh, uh, in all capitals which means it is a call from app so we use the virtual pin v0 so blink underscore write v0 any change in the virtual pin v0 will be reflected in this code and any change in v0 is transmitted from app through param dot as int function so we use this param dot as int function and we use a if class to check whether that param dot as int is has a value of one that is we are checking whether that uh, uh, button has been pressed on uh, mobile app or web uh, dashboard so if it is one we'll make the led on using digital write so we use the digital write function of uh, arduino id and make that pin 23 high so that led will be on otherwise if that uh, uh, param dot ascent is uh, has a value of zero that is if the switch is in off condition then we'll make the digital write to make the led off that is low so this uh, very simple code and after that you have to add a blink underscore connected function under which we have this uh, blink blink dot uh, sync virtual function which is responsible for uh, syncing of the uh, status on uh, mobile app as well as the code now connect the esp32 to one of your uh, usb on pc and not on the com port select the board as esp32 and select the com port and click on upload while uploading do not forget to press the uh, boot button while you see the dots uh, at the uploading you have to press this boot button so that the code is uploaded successfully now open the uh, serial monitor in the serial monitor if you do not see anything you have to press the en button on the top of the esp32 at the bottom there is boot button that we press during upload now you press the en button in this new blink iot uh, we use the agent code uh, which uses dynamic method to get the author authentication token in this dynamic method an access point is created automatically which is blink esp32 demo this esp32 demo is the name of the template we created in that name the access point is created and mobile app is connected to that uh, app for that you have to just touch on the add new device and then touch on ready and the mobile app will uh, do the scanning and list the uh, access point that is the blink uh, iot access point uh, created by the uh, agent code now touch on that uh, access point on the mobile app now the mobile app will connect to the access point get the authentication token for that you have to provide the uh, wi-fi credentials so this is done at the client place now feed in the wi-fi credentials name of the ssid and the password 
and uh, touch on continue the configuration of Wi-Fi will be done and uh, it will be reconnected to the cloud automatically so touch on continue this is the way to get the authentication token in the new blink iot and this has to be done only once at the and the wi-fi credentials are uh, uh, done during uh, at the client's uh, place using blink dot inject click uh, touch on finish and exit now go to the uh, uh, web uh, uh, dashboard and uh, select the uh, template and the device click on the device now we can see the, uh, the switch led we created now the led can be controlled just by selecting the switch on the uh, web dashboard click on the web dashboard led switch led if it is on the led will be on if it is off the led will go off the same can be controlled from the mobile app also now go to the mobile app and uh, touch on the button switch button the led will be controlled and at the same time the status will be updated on the web dashboard also so if you control from web app uh, web uh, that is the uh, dashboard web dashboard the status will be updated on uh, mobile and if you do it on mobile the status will be updated on the web app so everything is synced this is the new blink app thank you for watching